Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got uh, Gunslinger Evacuation Point Suicidal. And uh, still have not made that spreadsheet for uh, the achievements and all that. But it'll come. I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't know when it's gonna happen. It's uh, I want to get it done, and then at the same time, I just start reading and like. You know, fighting a bloat in this part is like the worst thing. Because they just. They never die, you know? So you, you can pop their heads off and they just wander around like a chicken with their heads cut off, you know? Um, I would normally go down there if it were uh, like later waves, but I mean, it's wave one. There's not really much here that uh, that's going to kill me. Anyway. It's, uh, it's 11 o'clock today, I'm just starting recording. I've been up for, you know, three hours at this point, but I just, I don't have, like, I don't, I don't have much to do, honestly. It's, it's, it's a strange feeling. I sat upstairs for a while, read, sat with the cat. Um, my mother talks to me for a bit. I'm not sure what she said, I wasn't really paying attention. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was a good... Good thing all around. I was. Uh, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's nice having all this. Uh, the spare time. It's weird for sure. It's. It's. It's a different experience in. The, in recent memory, but, like it's. It's. It's there, and it's. It's nice having all this. Uh, this free time to to kind of do whatever I'd like and relax. It was. Uh, and with every passing day, the the the, the suffering that I, I dealt with on Monday and Tuesday just seems to get better and better. Because uh, it's making the rest of the week just, just so enjoyable and so relaxing and so nice. I love it. So I'm probably going to be doing more like this going forward and, and getting more of the work done early. Preferably by Tuesday. And then uh, kind of let it go from there and, and, and kind of just uh, work on the KF2 stuff. Because um, this is really, really nice. It's really, really, really nice. I, I feel good, I feel relaxed, rested, energetic, like I, uh, oh, it's just, it's good, it's good. <laughs> um, yeah. The mouth, the mouth, I burnt my mouth, right? Burnt it, like, really, really badly. Um, it's getting better, it's starting to, to heal over a little bit. I, uh, I took a picture of it, I'm not gonna share the picture of the inside of my mouth with you, because that's gross. Um, but I took a picture of it with, like, the flash on, so I could see what's happening in there and it's it's I mean it's not pretty <laughs> it wasn't yesterday today it's actually like significantly better um, but but yesterday after I had uh, gone through all of that talking on Tuesday and then not really had much of a rest before I started recording you know Wednesday morning the inside of my mouth looked a little bit raw <laughs> I wanted to make sure that it wasn't like I don't know Gingivitis on the roof of my mouth or something? Can you get gingivitis on the roof of your mouth? I don't know, but uh, no, <laughs> it's 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 uh, it's localized in uh, in one area. Typically, the area that um, hot food typically tends to to hit, which I know for a fact is where hot food tends to hit because that's where I put the hot food still as I eat it. Like if I'm eating, I had to, I had a fried egg sandwich today, and it's like it's right on that spot where the in my mouth where the fried egg, the hot fried egg kind of gets pushed to just naturally with my tongue and I'm like, right, <laughs> gotta, gotta like force it to somewhere else in my mouth because uh, this is just burning. But uh, it's, uh, anyway, it's, 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 uh, it's definitely getting better. I mean, I'm gonna keep an eye on it um, just in case it is something like, I'm not a doctor, I don't know, I saw it and it doesn't look like anything I have to go and see a doctor about, it looks like a burn <laughs> on the inside of my mouth um, but you know keep keep an eye on it make sure it's uh, nothing that I have to go and see a dentist about or whatever I am going to see a dentist in a uh, I've got an appointment in a few months so you know worst case scenario I move that up a little bit and um, but I think I think it's I think it's a, a separate thing to any kind of dental work. I think it's a uh, rest and don't talk so much. Well, so much for that, right? But <laughs> anyway, it's uh, moral of the story is it's 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 definitely better today. 
I uh, I was able to eat like even when I was eating with the the fried egg sandwich that I had it was you know painful but not nearly to the same degree as uh, as eating was yesterday uh, and like talking right now I can I'm aware of it but like I could forget about it pretty easily uh, it's not that bad honestly it is only the first video of the day who knows how it goes as a uh, as time kind of goes on but like I mean, I'm in, a, I'm in substantially less pain today than I was yesterday. And like, just like a Tuesday, the end of Tuesday, when I was when I was finishing up Tuesday, I would say that uh, the amount of pain I was in probably reaches maybe like, uh, like a seven or an eight. Like it was really painful at the end of Tuesday. Like I was, I was, I was suffering. Um, Wednesday recording towards you know the end of the day of, uh, of Wednesday with all the recording and streaming that I did probably like a, a four or a five I don't know if it was like a seven or an eight but it was it was it was extremely painful like I I, I, I was incapacitated and uh, suffering through through the recording session so the the, the amateur tries that you guys see coming up this week just remember that that I was going through like an incredible amount of pain for those videos. Um, and then yesterday for the stream, I was, uh, I was in pain, but it was like a, I don't know, maybe even like a three. It, it was not super painful, but it was, it was definitely noticeable. Today, I'm like, it's not a zero, but, I mean, it's not really like a two, maybe a one, maybe like a point five. Like, it's, I'm, I'm aware of it, I'm, a, it, it's there, but like pain, I don't know, discomfort, you know? But uh, definitely, definitely Tuesday was was incredibly painful. Honestly, the right thing to do on Tuesday would have been when I was going through that much pain. Just stop recording, you fool. But I'm glad I didn't because uh, we're uh, I'm relaxing and enjoying it so much. It was worth it. All of the pain I went through was was worth it. But it was it was it, it was it, yeah not not the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. But like. And then the other thing is, is the, the pain that it is, isn't a constant pain either. Like if I stop talking and stop moving my mouth and stop swallowing and I just kind of, you know, sit here and, and do nothing, there is like not even a, a, a tinge of discomfort, you know, and there wasn't even on, on Tuesday. So, you know, it was, it was really, really painful, but, you know, once I stop talking, once I stop eating, drinking whatever um there, there's there's no pain right so it was uh it was bad but i don't know manageable like when it was there which is like only again like only when i'm talking and it's like this like stinging like gink you know like ouch 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 uh those like twinges of, of pain on tuesday were like terribly painful um, and then, uh, you know, yesterday, Wednesday, only ahead, most pretty painful. And then today it's kind of like, dang, yo, I bit my cheek earlier, kind of like pain, you know, it's, uh, it, it's really not that bad. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I haven't taken a picture of it today to, to, to see if it's, you know, visibly changed at all. I'm going to go do that after I'm rec done recording. Probably I maybe should have done it before and than after but like whatever dude who cares I feel better that's that's really what matters and um, going forward I'm just gonna well, I don't know I, I, I was gonna say I'm gonna try and be more careful when I eat but like I'm not cuz like I've never been burned this badly eating so you know 25 years is a pretty good uh, it's it's a pretty good I would say you know record for for not getting burned I think I think I am being as careful as I need to be but uh, regardless, you know, it's probably not going to happen again for a while. Yeah, maybe another 25 years. I, mean, you, you, I, I always say that kind of stuff. But the reality is, is that it's, it's a lot more likely to happen because it's, it's possible or even perhaps likely that my habits have changed with eating. And so I should be more careful. But like, whatever. Dude. I'm going to subconsciously avoid uh, hot foods for a while anyway. But I really burnt my mouth, man. I really burnt today. Anyway, 
Enough about that. Oh no, you're not dead yet, eh? Enough about the burnt mouth. Who cares? I care. You care. We all care. For ice cream. When I was a uh, when I was a child, when I was at uh, middle school, back in uh, back in my my schoolgirl days, I uh, I wish I uh, I loved I loved the ice cream trucks that would that would go around the place. We had an ice cream truck come to the middle school one day during like a, a sport meet, or whatever, and uh, all, all the kids were just running up to it. I'm like, how much ice cream can you fit in that van that you're confident to go to a middle school with like 700 students? Like, do you have enough? Is is there enough ice cream in there to? I got I got some ice cream. I th I think they were sold out of what I wanted for like a few of them though. But like, you know they they don't they don't care about disappointing like the majority of the kids there, right? That's that's not their problem. <laughs> it's really what it boils down to. It's it's not it's not their problem that uh, they go in there and they they feed you know 50 kids some some extremely overpriced ice cream. And then the remaining like 600 kids are like, eh, I wanted ice cream too, but you don't have any more ice cream. They're just like, dude, I made a killing today. Which is, uh, you know, it's fair. That's fair. But it was it was disappointing when I didn't get my ice cream. I wanted a SpongeBob popsicle, and all they had were like. These weird strawberry eyeball things, and I didn't really like those. They weren't very good. You know dang well I got it. And you know dang well I ate the whole thing despite not liking it because I paid like eight dollars for this and this was back in you know like oh is this a computer crash? Or is this just a game crash? I think this is a game crash. Oh no. Okay, okay, this is okay. This is this was back in like 2006, right? Eight dollars back in 2006 was like that's that's a full hour of of work. That's that's minimum wage for an hour. So expensive popsicle. I paid I paid an hour of my life for it basically. I'm not able to get KF2 open again here, hey? Eh? Hmm. Uh-huh. I don't like this. Oh, Steam is just frozen, eh? Okay, okay. What a weird episode. We will uh, close Steam, reopen. Steam is updating. It's Thursday today. It's not Tuesday when they do their thing. Look, I know it's a black screen. I, and the KF2 is not even open. It'll pick it up as soon as it's open, I promise. We're getting there, okay? We won, so, you know, rest easy, knowing that uh, my elite skills have not gone anywhere. Yesterday's uh, stream was pretty good. Had a few viewers stopping in, and uh, man, it's like... Okay, here we go. Here we go. You can hear it. You can't see it. It's not picking it up just yet. We have to get to the main screen before OBS is like, oh, you're running, hey? But it'll get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but towards the end of the stream, man, I was not having fun. And I was in, you know, a moderate amount of pain. And I wasn't having very much fun fighting the, the stupid boss at the end. So we just ended the stream like a half an hour early. Which was still the 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. It was still the 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., but... I didn't, I didn't do the extra half hour for the Wednesday stream yesterday, which I felt bad about it, but at the same time, nobody was there. All my stream, all my viewers had left. I wasn't having fun. I was in pain. You know, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Anyway, I, uh... I don't even have any leftovers for lunch today. I made leftovers yesterday. I had uh, made the stir fry with some 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 rice. I got some some sushi rice that I uh, that I used, and then a little uh, stir fry with mostly bean sprouts. It, the stir fry is, is primarily bean sprouts. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it's like I have like a whole zucchini in it, four eggs, um, some green onions, 
like a bunch of mushrooms and then like a pound of bean sprouts <laughs> it's mostly bean sprouts um, and that that's 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 like you know I had some yesterday I'm gonna have some today I'll have some tomorrow and I might even have some Saturday like it's I made leftovers right like I made I made ample I'm, uh, I'm just not used to making leftovers I don't know how much to, to put in there I uh, maybe in the future maybe two zucchinis I roasted the zucchini first in the uh, in the oven with a bit of thyme, some onion powder, garlic powder, and uh, sunflower oil. Roasted them, got them uh, some nice color on there, because zucchini takes a while to cook, you know. And I just pan fried the uh, the onions and the mushrooms together to, to kind of take off the uh, the raw edge. Stuck in the uh, the egg, scrambled it up. Got the. Uh, Bean sprouts added in, added some soy sauce, threw the zucchini in as well, just to kind of keep that warm and, and infused with all the, the goodness in there. Cooked all the bean sprouts until they were nice and, you know, cooked to cookedness, which is to say, like, not very long, but, you know, I like my bean sprouts a little bit softer. Anyway, I don't know, I've never looked up how to cook bean sprouts, I just I'd put them in there until they taste good, really. That's, that's how I cook most things. <laughs> that's my strategy for... For, uh, for cooking on the most part. Anyway, that was, uh, mixed that all up and it was this nice, uh, soy saucy, bean sprouts-y, zucchini-y, oh, there's a bit of thyme on the zucchini as well, not much, but just a little bit, adding a little bit of, uh, a hint of, like, ah, oh, there's something in this, huh? You know, it was, uh, it was pretty good. I almost ate the zucchini before I added it into the stir fry because I was munching on it. It was good. I liked it a lot. Um... The thing with zucchini, though, is, is it, it's like a lot of water, so as you cook it, it shrinks, right? It shrinks a, a whole heck of a lot. And uh, I know that you can cook it without losing so much moisture. I personally like to cook it while getting rid of as much moisture as possible. Um, because for me, one thing that I don't like when I bite into like a zucchini that... Uh, so my father will barbecue zucchini, right? He'll, he'll put them on the shish kebabs and, and barbecue them. And I think it's delicious for one I think it's it's extremely good but one thing that I don't like about it is uh, when he uh, when he does that for like somehow some way they end up with this like really charred outside right which is is delightful and delicious and wonderful and I love it but they they also still retaining so much of that water like it's 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 incredible how much water they're able to retain despite um, being so charred. Um, so when you bite into them, you get this like gush of, of zucchini water just kind of like bursting into your mouth, which for me isn't a pleasant thing. I would prefer it if you just had exactly that, but with less water in the zucchini. So I like to uh, to cut them up into like quarters, like slice them. It's about two two and a half centimeters thick and then uh, cut those into quarters and then then roast those quarters and they'll uh, they'll lose like a lot of moisture pretty quickly as you uh, as you roast them and then in my opinion that makes them taste a lot better or at least you know texturally a lot more uh, satisfying personally you still get a lot of moisture in them because like it's zucchini baby it's watery <laughs> that's the main ingredient in zucchini okay can't really get rid of it but I mean, if you get rid of it, you're just going to be left with this, like, shriveled, fleshy kind of thing, right? Um, but I like to get rid of uh, as much of the moisture as I can without uh, completely destroying the experience. Because I don't like that gush of, uh, of, of, you know, zucchini water in my mouth. It happens with mushrooms, too, that my dad makes on the barbecue. I don't know how he does it, but, like, he cooks things on the barbecue and they don't lose any moisture. I'm like, how do you do this? I can't even, I don't even know how you do it. I don't want it to be done, but how, like, how do I do this? <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, but he does it, and they're like, you bite into it, it's just like gush of water. I'm, like, I'm just like, how? <laughs> um, anyway, he, uh, he does that, and it's, it's this huge gush of water as you, as you bite into whatever. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that, so I like to to work on it as much I can and and, uh, and get rid of the the moisture to it to at least a, a large extent, not all of it, but a lot of it for sure. Um, 
Anyway, so that was that was my lunch yesterday. It was the uh, the white rice with the uh, bean sprouts, zucchini, onions, green onions, mushrooms. I think that's it. Yeah, bean sprouts and, and all that. Uh, which was really, really good. It tasted like delicious yesterday when I had it. And today it's not going to taste as good because it's leftover. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the way that it goes. Leftovers don't, generally speaking, taste as good as if you just ate it fresh. Some things taste better if you make them and leave them in the fridge for a day, for sure. Um, this is not one of those things. I will, I will tell you ahead of time. I can, I can, I, I can tell the moment I put it into the fridge. This, this is not going to taste better today than it did yesterday. But, that's not why I, uh, made leftovers. I made leftovers because I was just excited to be able to make leftovers. <laughs> like, I have the time today to make, make lunch again. Like, I, I could absolutely just do it again today if I wanted to. But, like, I just, I wanted to make leftovers. I wanted to, to be able to put some leftovers in my fridge and pull it out and, and have some leftovers for, for, for lunch today. Because that just seems like, I don't know, fun. I get to, I get to do that with my, with my fridge. So I'm, uh, I'm excited about that for, for lunch today. I am excited about it. Which is, uh, is a weird thing to be excited about. I was, uh, I was uh, gushing about it to my sister yesterday. And she's just like, cool, cool. You're having leftovers. I'm like, yeah, but like, dude, it's pretty exciting. I get to, I get to use my new fridge finally. For like, the, the main reason I bought it, which was that I want to be able to, to leave my leftovers in the fridge, you know? So I could, I could, have, I could, have, I could, I could, uh, I could buy food and leave it in the my parents' fridge and stuff. Once, once I have to buy food, and then also have like leftovers and all these extra containers kind of sitting in the fridge and and all this kind of stuff, it's just uh, really, really hard for me to to have the space in my parents' fridge to be able to do that. So I got this fridge, which will let me have leftovers in my fridge. And also a little bit more freedom with what I uh, with what I get for um, for groceries, which is good. So I'm very excited about that. I'm excited about lunch today. It's gonna be a couple more episodes I gotta record, and then I get to go eat lunch. And I have to make a thumbnail, but anyway, that's not important. I get to go eat lunch, and I get to be having the leftovers. And it's oh, I'm so excited to to finally put my fridge to to the use it was intended to be used for the the day I bought it. Very excited. Billiter tickets. Very excited about it. I know it's a weird thing to be excited about, but like, that's what I'm excited about, dude. What do you What do you want from me? I get. I mean, I'm I'm easily pleased, as I've uh, mentioned before. I'm very easily pleased. I think it's a good thing. I do. Patriarch looks pretty cool too. I don't think that he looks. Oh, I thought you were going the other way, dude. I thought you were going the other way. Um, Patriarch looks pretty cool. I don't think he looks as good as the uh, the matriarch because I think the matriarch is pretty much indisputably the best Halloween skin there is around ever. Um, but the patriarch looks pretty cool too. Everything but the abomination looks pretty cool. I love tossing him in the, uh, in the, like, slow-mo Z time thing, because you get, you get just some mad height on the, on the money. It's pretty cool. Anyway, no crash this time, so that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.